the 23rd and final event of the 2019 UCI Women's World Tour calendar, the peloton headed back to China and the tour of Guangxi. The one-day race was the 54th day of UCI Women's World Tour racing of the year and many of the world's best riders had travelled across the world for the 145.8 km event in China's southwest. It's the last race of the year and it's in China and it's three weeks since uh, the World Championship so there, there are a lot of teams with not full riders which is understandable but yeah we've got we've got riders here that have been prepared for this race since December when they were told to come so yeah for a lot of us it wasn't really mentally that difficult to, to train for it because we knew it was coming so far in advance but yeah definitely coming into it with six strong riders is a, is a big advantage for us. Yeah it's my first time here at Guangxi so it's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, I know that it's a similar course as last year so I expect something similar like a reduced bunch sprint. Uh, we'll have to see how it all plays out because then if I'm alone there's not a whole lot I can do um, but yeah if, if the girls are there we can maybe do something and chase them back so we'll just have to see how it goes and uh, just kind of have to go with the flow. 17 teams rolled out of the start and finish town of Guilin with 87 women taking on the flat opening kilometres. We soon had a breakaway with China Live pro cycling rider Yijian Pu escaping a speeding bunch. Heading towards the mountains, the 26-year-old Chinese rider steadily built a lead approaching five minutes. However, as the road began to head upwards, Pu's lead was cut drastically and she began the first of two climbs with a lead of less than a minute on a group fracturing. Though Pu led over the climb, the race reformed as it approached the second ascent and with just over 40 kilometres remaining, it was CCC Liv's Ashley Moorman Passio who led over the top. Onto the descent and the peloton reformed slightly with further groups rejoining as they headed towards the fast, flat finish and the expected bunch sprint. With the rain falling, it was tight in the bunch, with CCC Liv lifting the pace, working for their leader, Mariana Voss. And it was the Dutchwoman who opened her sprint first, around 250 metres from the line. Ali Cipollini's Australian Chloe Hosking was perfectly positioned on her wheel though, with Canadian Alison Jackson just behind. But it was Hosking who came to the front in the final 50 metres, taking her second consecutive UCI Women's World Tour victory. Eri sort of guided me in the last 10k and then Soraya took over with 1k to go and um, Voss opened her sprint quite early and I jumped on her wheel and then I was able to come round her. So yeah, I'm really thrilled, you know, it hasn't been a great season, but to finish off like this, it's uh, a, a big relief and a nice way to sort of close the, the chapter or the book on 2019 and really look forward to 2020. The team worked really well together. We had to uh, do a lot of communication uh, uh, during the ride. We didn't have radios today, our team. Um, yeah, and just really proud of how my teammates rode. Uh, we can, we're in the right position all the time, controlling um, how the race was going to play. And uh, yeah, in the, in the final, uh, just working with Nina along in the, the last few K to try for the sprint and then in the right place at the right time for the finale. Yeah, well, actually, uh, all season it has n not been the main goal. Um, but yeah, of course, I stayed in contention while taking the points. And yeah, it has been uh, great for the team to now take the purple jersey here. And uh, yeah, with their support during the whole year, every every single World Tour race I did, I uh, got them their support. So uh, now to take the jersey, that's uh, yeah, that's great. Jackson placed a close second, with Voss just behind her in third, while last year's winner, Arlena Sierra, was fourth. After a stellar year and 11 wins, Mariana Voss topped the individual standings of the UCI Women's World Tour, ahead of Annemiek van Vleuten. Third in the main classification, Lorena Vibis was the winner of the UCI Women's World Tour Youth Ranking, ahead of Marta Cavalli.